no, no, no. You're on YouTube. You have to taste and go, mmm, so good. <laughs> Full day of eating while getting lean, tasty vegan meals by Simnet Nutrition. His face looks familiar. I think I've seen thumbnails, but I don't think I've actually watched any of his videos before. But the thumbnail, it's a Nugo bar. <laughs> so I absolutely, I have to watch it. And he looks uh, pretty swole, right? So <laughs> I feel like I said that in the most mom way possible, but you know, he looks pretty built. So I'm assuming there's gonna be a good amount of protein. So if you guys remember in a vlog from a few months back, I started a new morning routine. So I was tired of getting up and just like getting on my phone and checking on my social media and everything like right away. But I was finding it was like messing with my mind and wasn't getting me in the right headspace for the day. Doing about five to 10 minutes of stretching, really just like whatever's tight or whatever I feel like doing. And then taking another five or 10 minutes and just like sitting and breathing. Life before children. <laughs> I'm guessing he doesn't have any kids. Maybe he does. That's hard, you know? That's hard. Not saying it can't be done, but getting up early before the kids. I actually did today, but it's it's pretty rare. I will say though, on the same kind of note of being um, productive and kind of st starting the day off uh, right, I guess I do it the night before. I have started uh, doing a planner, actually. I bought like a really nice daily planner with to-do list to check off and then even like an hourly schedule and I think it's really helped me be more productive on most days plus it just feels nice to be able to, able to check things off you know so that's the thing that I've been doing and then really just trying to work out as quickly as I can in the morning that makes a big difference for me but sometimes like today really hard if tiny baby wakes up in a bad mood it F's everything up. I just made myself a peanut butter, actually it's almond butter today, almond butter and banana sandwich on uh, whole grain sprouted toast. And instead of having two pieces today, I only had <laughs> one piece because uh, a couple weeks ago, I took a picture of myself in the mirror and I realized I am not as lean as I like to be. <laughs> so uh, I've decided that I'm gonna kinda start to do like a little bit of a cut here. He's talking about calories and calorie counting or reducing calories, diet culture. No, I'm, I'm joking. I know a lot of people don't wanna hear that sort of stuff. That's totally fine. I think he looks great going by that photo, but obviously I'm not him and it's not my body. So <laughs> he wants to be a little bit leaner. It seems like he's usually having the same thing for breakfast every day. So that's really easy, right? Especially with toast, you just, you have two, now you have one, right? It's really easy to pare it down without like calorie counting or anything. I don't try any crash diets, like, you know, 500 calorie deficit or thousand calorie deficit or anything like that. Of course not. I just reduce my calories really like gently. That's interesting. He said 500 calories is crash dieting. I kind of feel the same. I mean, it's person to person, right? It depends. And there are people, um, particularly people who are significantly overweight, who can reduce their calories by a lot, at least for a period of time, and they get the weight off and they maintain it. Like it does happen. So, you know, every person is different, but yeah, 500 calories to me personally, that is a crash diet. I don't know if he misspoke, you know, but because then he said a thousand calories, but yeah, to me, 500 is, is brutal. I think particularly for women, because we already eat less calories generally than men do, and it can be harder to meet nutrient needs when you are cutting your calories that much unless you were just really on point with nutrition. Oh no, what is that? This is another thing, you guys have seen this before in my videos, it's just um, some beetroot crystals that I have. What is beetroot crystal? What, what and why? Oh, and BCAAs, okay, cool. I usually try and have the beetroot crystals like a little bit before mm. my workout because they tend to have the best effect then. Okay, so it's supposed to be like a, something to do with recovery or something like that. I've never heard of that. Oh my gosh, oh no, oh, no. no. <laughs> this is always a risk. Oh, she's so cute, she keeps just popping in the camera and I'm like, oh, cute, and then she's gone. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go to the gym, have a workout for me today, it's a push day. What are you hitting today, Crystal? I'm just gonna do some light cardio. <laughs> uh oh, boo, you're not getting any more pre-workout. <laughs> So that's cool. He does a sort of pre-workout drink, right? BCAA is very, uh, very common. I've tried some, I forgot what the brand was, but it wasn't Stevia. It was one of the few I could find that didn't have Stevia and it was super low, Splenda, which I love, but it was still so incredibly sweet. After an hour or so, I would get this sweet taste in my mouth that was just like when I've done keto in the past or when I've fasted in the past and gone like into ketosis, I get this horrible, weird, sweet taste in my mouth. And that's what that gave me. Oh, I tried it over and over and over again. I still have some because I can't will myself to finish it. And plus I just don't, 
I just don't care that much. You know, I take protein powder. I'm not going to spend a bunch of money on a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm not an athlete. I'm not getting paid for this. Okay, so he went to the gym, then he went to the grocery store, and now he's going to make a smoothie, post-workout smoothie, I guess. So probably protein powder, I would imagine. I know I always do this, and it's probably kind of boring to you guys by now, but I just stick to what works for me, especially when I'm trying to achieve a goal. And uh, right now, I'm trying to get leaner, and I know that in the past, whenever I've always had that smoothie after my workout and I've stayed consistent with it, that it's always treated me good. Yeah, I have to say, definitely the same for me. I just never stick with it because... There are just days I don't want to be fucking freezing. I make my smoothies so cold because that's the way I like them and I'm literally freezing after. And even though like I drink my smoothie and hop right in the shower, it's just even that like minute of being cold just fucking sucks. And sometimes I can't get right in the shower because the kids need something, whatever. So I'm just like dying, like my toes are freezing. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. So yeah, you know, I would love to do the smoothie every morning and get all that protein and the berries and spinach. It's like so, so healthy, but some days like today, I need oatmeal. I've got two bananas. We've got some turmeric and black pepper. So if you know, you know. That is a very common thing. You'll see a lot of um, sports related supplements and whatnot, protein powders even that have like turmeric and black pepper in them. The black pepper improves the absorption of the whatever it is, the stuff in the turmeric. And I think this is like actually evidence-based in terms of some of the more like natural stuff, you know, this is something that I believe is actually evidence-based. I think it's like four or five peppercorns worth and that is more than enough to increase the absorption of that turmeric or the curcumin that's in the turmeric, I should say. Cur curcumin, curcumin, curcumin. That's a lot of peppercorns in the smoothie. Wow, interesting. Nope. Oh, I like how he's got two cameras. Whenever I see that on YouTube, I'm like, oh, that's professional. <laughs> I could never do that. Chia, flax, and hemp. Those are the king of the omega-3s. Chia and flax being the absolute highest. So I always try and have one of those two at least once a day. And that's the good thing about even when I change up my breakfast thing, because usually it's smoothie or oatmeal, like nine times out of 10, unless I get real sick of oatmeal and then it's smoothie or cereal. But yeah, pretty much every single day I have a tablespoon of flax in my oatmeal or uh, a tablespoon of chia seeds or a couple tablespoons of hemp seeds in my smoothie. Yeah, it's really important. Even if you're taking a DHA supplement, which I've been better about taking, a vegan DHA supplement, um, even if you're doing that, it's still important to get your ALA. Cilantro in my smoothies. I know it's a bit of a polarizing one for many people, but hey, I just love it. If you don't like that, Kale, put bok choy in it, spinach. I bok choy, is that a thing people are doing? Putting bok choy in smoothies? Ooh, I want bok choy now though. I like cilantro. I'm not one of the people that tastes like soap, right? No, I like it. I'm, I don't like love it, but I like it. But uh, no, I'm not putting it in a, in a smoothie with bananas. I just have to say his eyes are so pretty. I feel like I'm always commenting on people's looks. I guess I'm really shallow, but you know, I like appreciating beautiful things. And I think his eyes are very beautiful. That's all. Frozen cherries. And then I've also got a scoop of Vivo Life's Ritual plant-based protein powder. And I've also got some creatine here from Vivo Life. That is something I talked about recently, evidence-based in terms of muscle recovery and even muscle growth. And a lot of people take it if you're lifting or an athlete, whatever. Um, and particularly for vegans, it can be very useful. Vivo Life Protein. I feel like I've looked them up before. I'm always looking up the protein that people are using. I like just plain pea protein. And I also like the Vega Made Simple. That's just sugar and it's delicious. Um, I'm always looking, you know. Here we go, ingredients. Okay, it's gonna be stevia. Of course it's stevia. Why do I even waste my time? Of course it's stevia. It said all natural flavoring. Of course it's stevia. You guys might have noticed I left out one ingredient and those are the two dates that I usually put into it. So um, nothing wrong with dates. They're great healthful foods. However, they are quite packed with calories. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'm just trying to gently reduce my caloric intake by not having so much calorie density in my meals. I like his tips for calorie reduction. Like he's doing He's doing relatively small things. I mean, I guess he did cut his breakfast in half, but like this, just like removing a couple dates. I mean, that's 50, maybe even 100 calories, depending on the size of the date, right? Um, but it's like those little things. And especially, it seems like he's often eating the same things every day, right? So he's having the 
toast with the nut butter for breakfast and then he's having the smoothie. So it's really easy to kind of um, fine tune them without having to track food or count calories. But if you guys want more like, you know, recipe ideas and stuff like this, definitely go follow me on Instagram if you aren't already. And if you are, thanks for joining me along with my life. <laughs> he seems just so, just so sweet and so genuine. There's some YouTubers who do the whole positivity thing, but it's like, no, I feel like in your real everyday life, you were, you were like nowhere near that level of positivity. <laughs> I feel like this is a little phony. Maybe that's just me being a cynical bitch. He comes across as so genuine and just genuinely really uh, happy and positive. And yeah, he's a joy to watch, you know? Green lentils, white rice, white rice yellow, split yellow split peas, peas and Urad. Urad. Uh, so Urad.com leather care products. Nope. Being used in Indian cuisine. Although commonly called lentils are actually related to cow peas and mung beans. Water with some better than bouillon. I know it's probably not too traditional <laughs> as far as like Indian cooking goes, but uh, it's so good, especially in this spot with all the veggies. So got the Nugo bar, got the better than bouillon. Has he, he hasn't had the Nugo bar yet. Where's the Nugo bar? But yeah, better than bouillon is, is the best. Okay. So lots of beans, lots of vegetables. And that was his dinner last night. I guess now he's going to have it with some other vegetables and a little uh, dressing. And then I'm also going to be using some butter chicken seasoning. And I'm sorry if you're like uh, Indian or these flavors and like spices are from your culture and I'm totally using them wrong, but I just love the flavors of them. And you know, this is how I'm incorporating them into my cooking. I'm not intending to offend anybody. Are people really offended by that? I mean, I'm sure some people are. I don't know. That's really weird to me. Who who cares how people reinterpret food? You know, I don't know. That's really, that's really weird to me. Make your food however you want to make your food. I know it's going to need some salt, but I figured I'd taste it first and then see where to go from here. Mm. Yeah, it's okay. It's not the best. I think salt's going to help a lot. No, no, no. You're on YouTube. You have to taste and go, mmm, so good. <laughs> or mmm, while you're like furrowing your eyebrows. <laughs> like your mouth is saying one thing, but your eyebrows are saying another thing. Oh, <laughs> some seaweed on top. <laughs> it's very pretty. Sprouts. And it looks like sauerkraut or something. And wow, yeah, that's a, that's a lot of different stuff. <laughs> That's an interesting meal. Super good. Like that curry sauce actually goes so well with the curry flavoring in that little Instant Pot deal that we made. I feel like these are big lunches, especially for a dude on a cut. So I don't know if I'm gonna eat all this. I'll just eat until like I feel like pretty, you know, satisfied. That's a huge meal. It reminds me of, uh, what's the channel I talked about? Uh, happy, healthy, cool, like happy, healthy, vegan, happy, no. Happy Crazy Cool? Happy Healthy Vegan, Healthy Crazy Cool. I think that's right. Yeah, definitely reminds me of his stuff, right? Very, very large meals, lots of whole foods, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah, definitely healthy. Whew, my tum-tum -tum would not be happy with me. It's the next day and I have to apologize to you guys. I didn't realize how can relate. <laughs> Although I've been really good lately with my what I ate today. I've even been like filming as I'm going. Like I said today, very hard. Kids were just, you know, something else today. But yeah, there have been plenty of times where I've had to talk about what I ate the next day and like try to remember. How late it was when I was making that like pretty big lunch yesterday. And by the time Crystal and I had finished eating, it was like pretty close to dinner time anyways. And I was like full. What is that sweatshirt though? Like I can't even pay attention to what he's saying because that is really cool. Franchise Japan? That reminds me, somebody recommended an anime, Promised Neverland or The Promised Neverland. Partner and I blazed through the first season. We're on the second season now. Really enjoyed the first season. You know, it's got some, it's got some of the anime stuff that makes me laugh. <laughs> some of the music, the intro is sick. I gotta say, man, I don't know what it is about anime, but they, they've got some incredible intros. The intro is awesome. At least for the first season. The second season one, eh. It's all right, but the, the song in the first one, na, 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 and that's like saxophone solo. <laughs> what? Really, really, really enjoying that show. So thank you. That was everything I ate yesterday, minus one thing, and it was a little snack that I had in the evening, and it's uh, one of these little bars. These are incredible. <laughs> Not the healthiest things out there. I mean, you know, they are plant-based, but they got a bit of sugar and stuff in them. Absolutely the most delicious protein bar ever. I've had a lot of protein bars. That one is so good. It just tastes like a candy bar. It's not terrible in terms of protein. Certainly their slim ones are a lot better, which are very good. 
especially for being like sugar free using um, like chicory root fiber. And I forgot what else they use to make it sweet. But yeah, not as like candy bar delicious as the pretzel chocolate ones. Like I can't keep those in the house because I will just eat five of them a day, every day. And I feel fine doing that. <laughs> it's great, but it's also very expensive. And you know, eventually I might need to like eat other things. I was just like snacking on that and decided not to make dinner. So I'm sorry guys. Obviously it's good to be honest. Like he wasn't hungry for dinner. And that's, that's like rule number one. If you're trying to lose weight is like, if you're full, you're full. <laughs> like, and just being healthy in general, I think, and having a good relationship with food or however you want to say it. Um, yeah, I think it's really important to be able to recognize when you're full, even if it's six o'clock and technically you should have dinner, don't force yourself to eat. All right, so it's a few days later oh. here and at the time of editing this video, I had already made that lentil risoni risotto that I was telling you about. That looks so good. I'm not even hungry, but man, that looks really good. A bunch of other things, some salad, some plant-based chicken there. That was great. <laughs> that was terrific. Lots of protein, obviously lots of vegetables, lots of fiber, omega-3s vitamin A from all the greens and bell pepper. Like, is this, this good? That's a good day. And the Nugo bar, of course. Uh, no coffee, so I assume he's not a, a coffee drinker. I mean, you can't, like, if you're a coffee drinker, you don't, you don't, like, go a day without coffee. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I only had one cup today, but then I had my little caffeine mint things later on. I don't know why I'm getting so like real coffee drinkers have coffee every day, but like it's a drug. You gotta, you gotta have it every day, right? Definitely go check out his channel. I just thought he was just a gem, a joy, just a, a wonder. God, what is happening to me? A wonder, <laughs> a gem, a joy, <laughs> like no. And another thing I've said before, like I, I like that there are more people into lifting, going vegan or having been vegan and showing what they eat because they tend to be more into protein, right? So you see, you tend to see like every meal has protein, has a protein source. Bread and nut butter, which has, you know, some amount of protein. And then of course, after his workout, he's got the giant smoothie with protein powder and for lunch, all those beans. Well, the Nugo bar, little protein bar. And then for that dinner that he showed, the uh, lentil risotto type thing and the the vegan chicken on top of that. Yeah, that's, that's great. I mean, I just saw a video today. I mean, I'm constantly seeing these videos where it's like 10 minute vegan breakfasts or five easy vegan lunches or whatever. And like half of them, or even most of them are like low on protein and don't have like any major protein source. I don't think it's good from a health standpoint. And I also worry that you know, people are coming from your standard American, they're eating protein at every meal, right? They're eating meat or eggs or milk or whatever. And so then they're going to like this breakfast or even this lunch that's just like a little bit of hummus on bread and some vegetables. <laughs> like, I don't know, man, maybe they're not going to be satisfied with that. You know, point is, it's really, it's really cool to see the, the lifters, the bodybuilders, the the strong men getting into vegan. You're not gonna see him say that that vegetables and guacamole is a high protein meal. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider subscribing, leaving a like as uh, he said, wait, what's his name? I'm Derek from Cinnamon Nutrition. Certainly he knows his uh, his stuff. I assume he also takes like a B12 supplement. He didn't mention that, but uh, I would be very surprised if he didn't given his meals and obviously how much he knows about uh, nutrition and eating healthfully. But uh, yeah, Derek, check out Derek. And oh, as he said, the, you know, like the video because it helps out with the algorithm. I think that's true. I don't know how much it helps out, but, uh, but yeah, if you liked it, like it and support the channel, patreon.com slash a natural vegan. My battery's about to die. Thank you so much again. And I will have a new video very soon. I had a fart. Oh my God. Did I just Dutch oven myself? Like this room is tiny. Oh no. <laughs> smell's never gonna go away. Everybody likes the smell of their own brand. <laughs>